Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Dean Samid, I'm a pro horror artist from the UK and you're tuned in to photomanipulation.com. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a fantastic oil paint effect in Photoshop in under 5 minutes. If you're interested in advanced photo manipulation techniques, crazy Photoshop work or considering a career in digital art, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out 5 videos a week. Let's roll the video, enjoy. So in this video, we're going to be looking into the oil paint filter on Photoshop. Uh, to access, it's simply filter and then down to oil paint there. Now, I understand in some versions of Photoshop, they actually removed the oil paint filter. And then after um, customer demand, people wanted it back. Photoshop reinstated it. So if for any reason you can't access the oil paint filter via the uh, filter drop down. Uh, there's short guides online to show you how to access it via another panel on Photoshop. So now we've got that out of the way, what I want to do is show you this small demo that I put together. Now the before is the kind of typical oil paint effect that's uh, pushed on other tutorials. Um, it's it's okay but there's, there's too many artifacts you can see these details here it's a bit too swirly it's a bit too synthetic looking whereas to the right you can see this new version which we're learning today and it has a bit more finesse it's um the strokes are a lot more of uh, the word homogenized it, it's a it's a better look also there's details there being picked out from the original source image so that's what we're going to be doing today if i go over to this example piece this one is called jagged seraphim and i think i've done this over 10 years ago uh, it's an oldie but goldie and i'm going to use this demo piece just to show you how to do the updated improved version of oil paint in Photoshop. So this is the photo composite that's um, that's had no uh, oil filter processing on it. And what I'm gonna show you now is, well, first off, let's create a merged copy of everything. So to do that, it's Command, Alt, Shift, and E. If you're on a PC, that would be Control, Alt, Shift and E. And what that does is it creates a snapshot. If you look at the layer stack to the right, it creates a snapshot of the entire composite on its own layer. And at present, that's just called layer 49. Now I'm going to demonstrate the oil paint filter to you first. So here I zoomed in using Command and Plus. And you have stylization, cleanliness, scale, bristle detail, angular direction, and shine. The only parameters you really want to keep an eye on is stylization, which kind of increases or decreases the intensity of the strokes. And cleanliness is kind of the overall opacity for that effect. Okay, so I normally have them roughly at the same and then however intense I want to do it. But the, the settings in here aren't that important. Um, what a lot of people do is they leave this shine intact and that looks really um, kind of, what's the word for it? I won't say pixelated, but but fake. It, 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 looks, it's, it's, it looks like it's been generated by a machine and that's not what we want. Okay, so for the examples here, this is what the oil paint filter looks like with just shine left in place. So those parameters I just showed you in the filter dialog, that's with shine. This one here is the same thing, but with no shine. And as you can see by this character's face, it's not great. It's okay, some people would like this, but for me, it's just not good enough. And also, on the sky there, you've got these artifacts, and I'm gonna show you how to deal with them. This is the version um, that was the final version and you can see the oil paint filter is in effect but there's the details are retained everything's sharp everything looks great so let's get into the workflow of that 
Um, we're going to start from the beginning. So create a merged layer. Command, Alt, Shift, and E. And then here we have layer 50. And what you want to do is to duplicate that layer. Um, a very fast way to do that is Command and J. Control and J for you Windows users. And on the, duplicate, on the duplicated layer, you go Filter, Other, High Pass. Now I usually, I work quite big. I work at print resolution. Um, I'm from the UK and we use centimeters. So I usually work around 30 plus centimeters on the longest edge because in my professional work, the output is usually print. I am a book cover artist. So a radius of between three and four usually works quite well. So for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to go a radius of three. And this layer here, what this does is this, this will retain the details from the original image. Now on this layer 50 uh, stamps layer that we just created, I'm going to apply the oil paint filter directly. So to access that, filter, oil paint, and then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in, uh, command and plus, and stylization there, yep, that'll do it. Cleanliness there. I want to turn the shine completely off. Scale, bristle data, uh, detail, angular direction. These guys don't really do anything at all. So I'm just gonna hit okay there. And that's gone into effect. Now with this layer that we just did, the um, filter of a high pass layer, because this is gray, when I change this to overlay, the kind of middle gray will be invisible, but it will pick up these highlights and darks. So I'm going to go overlay. And you can see how well that has already picked out the original details whilst keeping the um, oil paint effect. And you can change the opacity of this to make it more stark or less stark to make the oil paint uh, come to life if you want more if you want less so that's it at 100 i'm just going to come back a little bit and i'm going to go maybe 80 percent if it's on screen okay now you can actually take things a step further so if you see this sky here you have artifacts there what you can do is i've got the i'm going to change the name of this layer to oil paint for reference and then this one here i'm going to change this one to Highlights. Okay, so we've got the oil paint active, and what you can do is go onto the oil paint layer, go filter, camera raw. We're going to zoom in to see those artifacts on the clouds, and then we're going to click on detail and go luminance, punch that up, take the detail back, go OK, and that will homogenize artifacts so that's that's a lot better than it was before what you can also do is create a stamped layer of the highlights and oil paint working together command alt shift and e okay so this is a new stamps layer and on this new stamps layer what you could do is something i like to do sometimes is go filter camera raw and in there, um, sometimes, if you want to, you can punch up the clarity just a notch, just to really get those details out. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of clarity and then go, OK. So we've punched some details there. What we can also do on top of that, see, we've still got these strange artifacts on the smooth clouds. You can homogenize even further. And this is a, a really favorite go-to of mine. Um, it gives it a bit more of a tactile cinematic look. Uh, camera raw filter, then go to effects and then just punch the grain up. You don't have to go really heavy. You don't have to go crazy. Um, it's imperceptible when, when you zoom out. But for things like these artifacts here on the clouds, the weird kind of synthetic patterns, you can normally knock them out quite effectively with the camera raw grain function and the grain found within the camera raw dialog is my favorite grain within photoshop so that's looking pretty good 
let's take a look now i'm going to put all of these in a layer group so i've selected those by holding down shift and i'm going to create a layer group by going command and g remember windows users anytime i say command just switch it out for control and we're going to have a look at a before and after with this in effect so there's just bog standard sharp photography and then with our post processing using oil paint and camera raw fo functions now if we compare this to what some other tutorials demo where a, a lot of the basic parameters are, are just left in place you can see there's a huge difference between the effects so that's it for today guys a quick tip to get the creative juices going I'd like to say at this point, thanks so much for tuning in today. We're a brand new channel and your support is really appreciated. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe as we're putting out five videos a week. And if you ever struggle to find decent stock photos for your photo manipulation work, check out the crazy images we offer via the links below. That's it for now. I'll catch you at the next video. See you then.